Hey guys and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be discussing Herbalife or Herbalife if you have an American accent and does it help to lose weight? Does Herbalife help you lose weight? So Herbalife is a huge company, it makes billions per year, has millions of members and is sponsored by lots of big celebrities. It's one of the biggest diet shake companies in the world and yeah, obviously it's a weight loss solution that a lot of people use. Weight management, they call it. And so the question is, does it work? My feeling, and from my research, is that it doesn't. And I'm gonna be discussing why that is in this video. And also at the end, if you stick around, I'm gonna be telling you what to do instead to get better results. So first of all, what is Herbalife? So specifically in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Formula One Shake Powder, which is their diet weight management solution. And the way you use it is you replace two of your meals per day with the Herbal Life Formula One Shake Powder and just have one healthy meal per day. So instead of having three meals per day, you're having two shakes and just a normal healthy meal that you would do otherwise. So first of all, can Herbalife help you lose some weight? And the answer is yes, because as with any diet, if you are reducing your calories, you will lose weight. That's how weight loss works, right? So if you're eating less than your body needs, you will lose weight. As if replacing two meals in your day with the Herbalife shakes does that, if it reduces your calories enough, to be eating less than your body needs, then you will lose weight. Equally, there are some people that don't lose weight. So this is just an example here. Some people, because they maybe are still eating too much, they don't lose weight. But that's really all it is. Herbal life is just a convenient way without thinking to reduce your calories and hopefully lose some weight. And I completely get for some people who have a lot of weight to lose and who have struggled to understand how dieting works, it can feel like a life-changing company, a life-changing solution because it's helped them lose some weight. The important thing to understand is that if you are still on your journey and you haven't maintained your weight for a number of years, then it hasn't worked for you yet because a lot of people that use Herbalife and other similar shakes, they often rebound and end up in the same place they were before due to some of the reasons that I will explain in this video. So now I'd like to discuss seven reasons why Herbal life is a very poor diet solution, a very bad way to lose weight. And number one, like I mentioned before, is that it's a very short term solution. So the weight often comes back on with people who use Herbal Life. And one of the reasons for this is that Herbal Life try and tackle one of the reasons you are overweight. So there's lots of reasons, right? It tries to tackle one of the reasons, just one of the reasons, but instead of actually solving it, it tries to cover it up. So with Herbal Life, what you're doing, you're taking two meals per day and replacing them with a, a shake. So like I said before, this is just a way to reduce your calories. So instead of learning how to eat in a certain way to reduce your calories, actual meals, you're blindly using a, a shake to replace those meals without actually knowing why and without actually learning anything about food. So you end up just kind of, yeah, like I said, blindly taking these shakes without really knowing why they're working and not learning anything about how to eat and nutrition. So you become dependent on these expensive shakes because you've never actually learned how to eat correctly. And this is one of the biggest problems. The questions to ask yourself would be things like, what would I do if my shakes ran out? What would I do if I couldn't afford the shakes anymore? What would I do if I found myself out and about and I didn't have my shake with me? What would I do if suddenly a friend invited me out for a meal? What would I do in events like Christmas or parties, things like that? What would I do if I actually did reach my goal weight and wanted to stop using the shakes? What would I do then? How would I eat? If you don't know the answers to these questions, then there's a big chance that in those situations you're just going to worry and um, not know what to do and be in that very black and white mindset of I can't do it now so I'm just going to eat how I used to eat and the problem with that of course is you end up putting the weight back on because the problem was the lack of the lack of knowledge around how to actually eat in the first place. So problem number two is that you're only working on one layer 
of the weight loss problem with herbal life. And weight loss is due to a number of different things, especially a lot of things due to your thoughts. And emotional eating is one of these. So you've probably had urges and cravings and feel like you lose control around food. It's like pushing a boulder uphill. You want to go in one direction, you kind of have really good thoughts and motivation about eating healthily, but then it's pushing back at you and you find you're slowing down and often going backwards at some points because that boulder is like pushing on you and those urges and cravings are making you do things that you don't really want to do, but you don't know how to get rid of them without eating those nice foods like the chocolate, the cakes, the cookies, ice cream, and things like that. And that boulder is pushing back at you, even though you want to go in that direction, you find yourself being pushed back all the time. So unless you solve emotional eating, binge eating, things like that, then it's gonna be extremely difficult to be very regimented with your eating. Even though you say you're gonna be and you feel like you want to be, there's that push back all the time. And you feel like you're not always going in a straight direction, you're being pushed back in the opposite way. So emotional eating is one of these internal issues. And ask yourself, how many times with your weight loss goal have you wanted to do things that haven't helped you? It's that internal conflict and the limiting beliefs and all the things going on in your head which are pushing you back in the opposite direction. So being able to work on these other layers of weight loss is so, so important. It's not just the diet and the exercise and things like that. It's what's going on internally as well. So, so reason number three is that it's super expensive for what you get. And I'm going to do the UK calculations here, but the US and other countries will be similar. So for one container, for one tub of Herbalife, it's £34. And in that container, it contains 21 servings. And it advises you, of course, like I said before, to have two servings per day. And so that is... £34 for every 10 days of using Herbalife. So I've written the calculations on my hand and that means it's £102 per month or £1,224 per year. Now, in the instructions of how to use Herbalife, it says to mix it as well with milk. So to get the nutritional value that it states on the label, you have to mix it with skimmed milk as well. So adding on the milk cost as well, a 2.27 litre of milk in the UK is £1.09 and, pence, and that is 12 pence per serving of Herbalife and that means an extra £7.20 per month or £86 a year which makes the total before which was 1224 per year of Herbalife up to 1310 adding in the essential milk that's required to reach the nutritional standard that it says on the label. Now, if we were to compare Herbalife to whey protein, which is a high protein drink often used in weight loss as well, we can see the huge, huge price difference. And I'm not saying do this, I just want to compare how much Herbalife is inflated. So for two kilograms of whey protein, you can get it for 29.99 which has 80 servings, and then that is £22.50 per every 30 days, which works out as 269.91 per year. And if we add some extra multivitamins into that, I looked up, so between six and 20 pounds, you can get multivitamins for, for the year. So let's go for the higher number, so 20 pounds. So that would be a total of 390 pounds per year, which, is a huge difference. So I worked it out, it's 920 pounds cheaper to do it this way than to have the Herbalife shakes. A huge difference. And reason number four is Herbalife is a very low quality product. It's a very high sugar, high processed drink with added vitamins. And like I said before, you have to add milk to it. So a lot of the vitamins are coming from the milk you're adding to it anyway. And so there's very little fiber and it's just a yeah, overall not very good product. If you just had the milk on its own and had more milk, you'd end up better off and it's cheaper anyway. It's crazy when you look into these things. And reason number five is that because the calories are so low in Herbalife and you're replacing two meals per day with it, you can often end up hungry and this can cause physical cravings because you're not getting enough energy, enough calories into your day. And this, of course, the hunger causes 
like distraction, focus problems. So yeah, it's not gonna be a very pleasant experience having these two shakes, but also, yeah, the effects that go along with them for some people. And reason number six is that having herbal life can actually cause binging. And they're assuming you're taking the product, you're not gonna get emotional eating. They're assuming that suddenly emotional eating and cravings are gonna go away. Now this isn't actually true, right? Of course, because it's not gonna solve your emotional eating problem because emotional eating problems are not food problems, it's mental wiring problems. So let me explain. So if you're using willpower to cut out certain foods, you end up wanting them more because of how the brain works or because of how your unconscious brain works. So your unconscious brain does not process negative instructions. So what I mean by that, if I say to you, don't think of a pink elephant, what do you do? You think of a pink elephant because you don't process the negative part of that statement, the no, the don't. So the same thing with chocolate or cake or cookies. When you're using your willpower of, I'm not gonna eat chocolate, I'm gonna be really good, I'm not gonna eat it, I'm gonna avoid it, I'm not gonna have this, that or the other, you're constantly having to think about those things. Now, when we couple that with the process of mental practice, a mental practice is when you use your mind to, to practice something without actually having to physically do it. So for example, sports players or actors might do this. So an actor will close their eyes and go over their lines in the head and they get better at doing them. The same with a sports player, they might imagine kicking a ball or swinging a racket and it builds those neural connections in your, your brain, the pathways. The same with food. So if you're constantly saying, I'm not gonna eat chocolate, I'm gonna avoid it, you're constantly thinking about that and building more pathways in your brain. So when that willpower does run out, when you do have a little taste, you're really good at doing that because you practice it so much. So it actually makes the binges worse and causes more emotional eating, which they don't realize this, but that's one of the reasons you do it. And reason number seven is Herbalife get a lot of bad press, a lot of bad press. So there's allegations of causing health problems, liver disease with people, but also huge allegations of it being like a cult experience and a pyramid scheme. So the way they sell their products, the, the Herbal Life Formula One and other things, is through social selling, pyramid schemes. And I'm not gonna go into this too much, but I found a 91 page document with the experience of some of these people and their families who have worked for Herbal Life. And one account says that this, this guy's sister worked for Herbal Life. I'll actually paste this into the description um, so you can see. But this guy's sister worked for Herbal Life, and although it ruined her life, she continued making positive statements about the company, and they advised her that her family would try and get her to leave, but to, to not leave and to stay. And that's like exactly like a cult experience. They keep you within them, and they tell you not to listen to your family, and all these things to indoctrinate you into their, yeah, their cult. And I'm not saying it is a cult, but a very cult-like experience and pyramid selling is, is often linked to like bad press. And that's why Herbalife have such a bad reputation in this area. And if you just look into it, you can see there's so many different allegations and things like this. It seems like a great experience, but so many people are getting sucked in and losing thousands and thousands and thousands because you're required to pay money up front to become a seller of these products. And there's accounts of people losing, yeah, like seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars it says in the um, in the article, in the articles. So yeah, just be very aware of this. I, I can't prove these things. These are things I just found. Uh, but they're there and I think it's very important to be aware of them. So just a quick summary of why I feel Herbalife is not a good weight loss solution. Let's say you did battle through those emotional cravings every day, the, the hunger, being inflexible with your diet because of the two shakes per day, being able to eat out in public situations, things like that, and go all the way through and reach your goal. You then have two options then, right? Either you are tied to using Herbalife for the rest of your life, thousands, 1,300 odd pounds per year, or you stop taking Herbalife and start eating normal meals. The problem with that is you haven't learned anything. 
You don't know how to eat proper meals. So you're basically starting all over again. So the question would be, why didn't you do that from the start? And these are some examples of some low calorie meals, 300 calories to be exact. And most people could have four of these per day and still lose weight. Or they could have two smaller ones and a bigger one as well. So it's very flexible to eat like this. So being able to eat normal food. And when I work with clients, we work on, one of the factors we work on is their nutrition, one of the biggest important factors, right? To lose weight, eating less than your body needs. And we work with a food structure. So it fits in with your diet and your lifestyle and what you like to eat. If you would like a free copy of my free food structure guide, it's down there in the description below. Grab it now. And also, one of the biggest things I find my clients have to deal with is that emotional eating. And I've also opened up my emotional eating and binge eating webinar for registration as well. So if you would like to register and find out why you binge eat, why you emotionally eat and how to fix it, that is down in the description as well. So go ahead and pick your preferred day and time. So for now guys, like that is it. Let me know, have you tried Herbalife? Are you trying to lose weight at the moment? What do you think of this video? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.